Let's practice using uh, the image editor here in Excel 2013. We go to Insert, Pictures, you browse for your pictures and you find one off your computer. And then it should insert a picture here. If the picture is too large, you can click on it and drag out a corner. When you see the uh, two little arrows, click and drag it to make it a bit smaller. And this is good. This is my beautiful son. And he looks like he's having fun here. And uh, notice how if you double click the picture, we automatically uh, appear in the Format tab. And there's many things we can do here. I'll show you uh, some of the more important things, in my opinion. There's this thing called Crop. So the, if you click on Crop, uh, this button at the top part here, you can see that there are some black lines here. And if I want to just focus on his head, I can actually pull up these lines until you just get the right region. So I'm just going to focus on his face here. And then when you actually click off of the picture here, you can see this picture is is uh, cropped. Now the nice thing about uh, uh, cropping an image is that whenever you click on the image and recrop it, you can always get back what you are missing. So you can always get back the original, and that's nice. What else can we do with our picture? Uh, you can remove the background. Now this picture is not ideal for this technique, but if I click on Remove Background, it uh, tries to clean out uh, um, the background, but you can see that this only works well if the background is, is uh, very similar in color, uh, such as the green screen effect. But I'm going to press Control z to undo that. I don't want to remove the background. Let's go to the Format tab here. Uh, let's look at some other options here. You can click on Corrections, and you can see there's uh, some uh, different brightness and contrast and softer uh, or sharper images. Color, you can add some color to it. You can play around with some different artistic effects. You can compress image, which somehow uh, reduces the quality of the image so that uh, the file size is smaller. And then uh, you can always reset the picture to um, discarding all the formatting we've done. I like these borders here. You can just hover over these and click on it to apply these. There's even a little drop-down box here. You can see some more interesting effects. Uh, there's um, some uh, manual borders. You can set the weight, how thick the border is, and the colors as well. Uh, picture effects. You can just have some nice little shadows here and, and things like that. Just fancy-dancy stuff. And you can even make your picture uh, be a part of some kind of smart art graphics uh, type thing. So it's something else to, to explore later on. And uh, you can uh, even uh, rotate the picture. And there's even more rotation options. Uh, however, if you click on your picture, you should see a small little rotation uh, icon here. And that's probably the easiest way to rotate. And of course, uh, if you actually hold down the shift button while rotating, you'll notice that it rotates in, in in a chunky way, and this might be useful for rotating things just the way you want it to be. Alright, so have fun playing with images.